10,000 days every day, 10,000 dollars every day you survive in the world. Let's get it! Every day the two okay. of you survive in this world. Run video to get your popcorn. Get ready to chill. Hey, put that camera down. Let's head out. Take care, boys. This video will make you feel like a millionaire. Crazy! I'm going to channel that. I'm Hayes. Hayes, I'm Grizz. Nice to meet you, man. Grizz. All right. We'll be my best friend for the next however long. Starting now, these guys receive $10,000 every day. With the only limit being how long they can survive. Which theoretically means they could win unlimited money. Dude, if we stay a year, we're both multi-millionaires. We are trying to find the camping spot, build a fire, survive the night. I guess we should just set up camp here. For the rest of the night, they gathered wood and went through their supplies. We've got approximately five days worth of food, two things of water. Looks like a change of clothes, some warm jackets, and boom, fire starter. Let's see if we can get a fire going. Oh, yeah. We are good. Let's make beds out of pine needles. It won't be comfortable, but at least we won't freeze it at tonight. Ooh, we're alive. Right there. Day two. And in the morning, I showed up to give them their first $10,000. Boys, how was the first night? It's cold. It's been 24 hours, and I didn't walk over with 10 grand. You're not going to ask? Yeah, I guess we should, right? Yeah. Okay, just look up. Oh, my. Every 24 hours, we're going to drop $10,000 out of a plane for you guys. There's $10,000. Mm -hmm. In a parachuted briefcase. Catch it, don't catch it. Bro, watch out. Bro, this is crazy. Bro, we're going to be so rich by the end of this video. And on top of that money, this is your flare gun. Oh. Be careful. Shoot it up in the air. The challenge ends for the both of you. And you walk away with the money you've won. So how long should we stay it's out here? Six million shoot for the shoot the flare gun at one The plan is officially a year. We're going to split this in two. You get this. Yes. I get this. Now we can't screw each other. Hey. Up. But later in this video, that plan doesn't exactly work. All right, I feel bad, but I need to steal that flare gun. I just gotta shoot this thing, and I get to be a dad again. If you fire that flare, I literally think I'm gonna kill you. Well, buddy, you ready to get rich? Absolutely. By day three, you could say the boys were pretty tired of sleeping on the ground. <laughs> so after another 10 grand, they started work on building their shelter. Gonna use my jacket to gather pine needles and layer them on the shelter. All right, I found this metal piece from a kid's swing set, and I think it's gonna work great for the roof of our shelter. Layer one on. Boom! Here's a section that we're working on. You can see it's got some structural poles. We get to use the parachutes and the cord, so we're gonna make a rain cover on our shelter. Everyone thinks probably that I'll be the reason we leave and fail this challenge. But this money would mean college for the kids. And then on day four, they started looking yeah. for a water source. Oh, there's a swamp. I would feel safe boiling that. Yeah, we gotta be careful because that yeah. stuff is full of bacteria and parasites. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh, just a touch of the swamp. All right, we're going to bed. Hopefully, Chris snuggles up because it's cold and he's big and warm. This is like the third day in a row that we've gotten two hours of sleep. It's been so cold. If it rained right now, we'd probably have to go to the hospital. But I'd do it for $10,000. And it wasn't just the freezing temperatures that were getting to them. We're at the end of our supplies. Grizz likes to call it a fast, which sounds so much nicer than starving. And for the next few days, the hunger problem didn't get any easier. We had a, a little square of beef jerky this morning, that's it. Jimmy gave us five days worth of food, and it's day nine right now. These are green briar leaves. Grizz says they're edible, I guess. Mm. Yeah. It was clear by this point that the boys were extremely hungry. But lucky for them, I had a surprise waiting for them on day 10. They've officially survived 10 days. Woo! Here's your briefcase. Yeah. And don't leave. This is where the challenge oh. gets interesting. Bring in the helicopter. The flight. <laughs> oh, man. I'm nervous, dude. Oh, right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right, okay, that I'm excited about. Uh -huh. To celebrate day 10, we have your first offer. I can tell you guys are tired of eating leaves. So I brought you guys an additional 10 days worth the food, spices, two tarps, yeah. and everything you would need to fish. All of this for $50,000 of your prize money. Oh. Want some beef jerky? Yes. Ooh. Don't eat it yet. Oh. These beans look good? Oh, absolutely. Oh, coffee. coffee. We're going to give you space. I'll be back in 10 minutes. This, he's not kidding. Like, this is literally all the things we would need to fish. 50 grand. 50 grand. They don't take this deal. I mean, they're kind of stupid. 10 days worth of food means they make 100 grand, and they only have to pay 50 grand for it. I'm doing them a favor. Should we talk to them now? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. All right, Jimmy. If you make a decision in the next 60 seconds, I'll throw in two feastable bars. <laughs> yes. Let's do it. Oh, you said 59 more seconds, but okay. Here, I'll put that in the pile of food. Thank you for the 50 grand. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the food. Oh, by the way, you also get the crate with it. Thank you! Thanks, Jimmy! Thanks, Jimmy! 
was definitely a deal we had to say yes to. But that yeah. week of food literally cost as much as my kids' college tuition. I think they were in the I still can't believe it every time this money falls out of the sky. The food from the crate will feed them for 10 days. But if they want to survive out here for a year... All right, the plan is officially a year. They'll still need to find more food in the wilderness. So some of you may be wondering... Why have they not caught fish? Well, the swamp nearby has no fish in it. What we really need is moving water that we can fish in. And while Hayes was rambling on about his kids... And my two-year-old doesn't sleep very well either, so... This happened. I think being a dad... <gasps> what is this? <gasps> This is a creek. This is not a swamp. This is actually moving water. There's fish in here. Dude, look at this. It's like a dock. This is the perfect place for food and shelter. And after another few days full of a surprise freezing rainstorm, Ooh, at least now we have $100,000. They decided to move and upgrade their shelter near their newfound water source. Good morning, Grizz. How are you always up earlier? <laughs> We're gathering up a bunch of dead trees we can use for our structure. And then we balance them together into an A-frame shape and cut the trees to the right length. Oh. oh, no. Okay. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. I'm glad I broke your fall. <laughs> sorry. All right, so maybe they had a bit of a false start. But once they got the structure back up, they spent the entire next day putting their finishing touches on their shelter. They even built a fishing dock to help them catch more food. Dock's done. Pleasantly surprised. And now all we got to do is catch a fish. Come on. Yeah. Right? And as good as this was, without sleeping bags, the winter night was still unforgiving. What a really cold night. Cold toes, cold feet. No sleeping bags. Oh, so I think I knew what my next offer was. It's day 20 and they moved super deep in the woods, so now we have to get there by boat. Do you hear that sound in the distance? What'd you say? Is that a boat? Any minute now when we find them, I've got a fun offer for them. How's it going, boys? Hey, hey guys. Hey. What's going on? Two things. First, the plane needed maintenance, so I'm delivering this by hey, hand. Hey, all right. $10,000. Which puts you guys at $140,000. And second, we have an offer for you. Ooh. Reveal your offer. Just go ahead and take it off. Here it is. Ooh. Oh. You can either okay. give me $10,000 for that red sleeping bag or give me $50,000 and you get both sleeping bags. What? Five times the amount for both. Oh, man. Can I take it out? Yeah, we should look at it. Yeah, check them out. Hang on. Check them out. Check them out, bro. <laughs> These are the same sleeping bags we used in Antarctica. They work very well. Here's the weather forecast. It's gonna get pretty cold next week, so yeah. highly recommend you at least buy one. When we started this thing out, yeah. we were in the 20s without anything. Uh -huh. We've adapted to it. Oh, we have get... bedding, we yeah. have pine straw. We're doing pretty well in these low temperatures. I would love to have a sleeping bag, but $50,000 is... I sleep closer to Grizz than I do my wife, so <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> You're actually gonna say no to both? A really cool night. No All right, y'all have been wrong. Yeah, so I think uh, I think it's final. We don't want it. Yeah, agreed. Wow, not even a single sleeping bag. All right, boys, close I mean, it up. Sure, bags. the boys could survive without sleeping bags, but that didn't solve their food problem. In between sitting out rainy days, yeah. the boys got into a bit of a routine where they would boil water, work on their shelter, and try to catch fish, which wasn't really working out for them. We got some guts for bait. We're gonna cast them out and uh, hopefully the fish come up off the bottom of the creek. Day after day of failing to catch any fish. Let's go check the lines, see if any catfish are on. They finally caught a wind in their sails. Oh, 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 Grizz. Or whatever that abomination of mother nature was. What yeah. is that? Can I eat it? First fish, it's an eel. And Every I think I'm gonna charcoal well, grill it. We're gonna have yeah. ourselves some American style unagi. This is the first thing that we've caught out here in 27 days, which is insane. We're happy to have it and we're gonna make it delicious. I don't know if this is what I would call delicious, but the fact that they haven't had a fresh meal in almost 30 days means even a rock would taste good to them. It's excellent. It's so good. <laughs> it's really, it's just like amazingly good. If we keep catching fish like this, we can easily stay for a year, bro. Dude, yeah, $3.6 million. Good night. And on day 28, they started constructing their raised bed system in their new shelter. So it's gonna be two tripods, one, two, side rails going down, slats across, and then a nice, pine needle mattress made out of parachutes. And after seeing their new shelter become more and more comfortable, I was starting to get worried that I was gonna have to pay these guys <laughs> millions of dollars. The only regret that I have, they're not bunk beds. Uh, that's honestly an L. They were betting everything on their new shelter being right next to this creek. But that may have been a huge mistake because yeah. they couldn't catch another eel to save their lives. <sighs> Snapped it. 
At this point, I've spent more time in the wilderness than I have with my newborn son. I also have a two-year-old with my wife alone. How do you explain to a two-year-old that daddy's gonna be gone and he won't talk to you and he won't call you and he won't see you? Say they were ranking us an offer. What would be something that you would actually buy? We spend a lot of time out here trying to get firewood. You know, having firewood dropped off would be really nice. I'd probably pay $10,000 for that. We are literally in the middle of the forest. I couldn't tell you where we are anymore. All right. How's it going, boys? Doing great, yeah. man. How are you? As a reward for surviving an entire month, I brought you a store. Ooh. Oh, OK. You see, we come through all of your vlog footage, and we wrote down everything you've asked for, such as firewood, a shovel, cooking supplies, bedding, and even books and board games. It's like a dollar store, but everything costs 10 grand. Ooh. This is your store? Feel free to shop. We've won 240 grand. Might as well check it out. What are these? Those are mosquito nets. Oh, oh we'll use parachutes. We don't need those. All right, what about the hammocks? I like the hammocks, but you know, we haven't tried making them out of parachutes yet. All right, guys, answer this. What could you not make out of parachutes? A lot. All right, well, do you guys want the firewood? How much so, wood? That's the wood you get. If it came with unlimited wood, I would buy it. I offered them literally everything they could possibly need here, and they still weren't interested. I was beginning Damn. to think these two were secretly Navy SEALs or something. Are you guys <laughs> gonna buy literally anything? You make 10 grand a day. What's another 10 grand? Card. I gotta say no. All right. In a million years, would yeah, not yeah, have yeah, thought yeah, they would yeah. say no to everything. Start Next time, each other. I'm gonna One convince you to spend money. money really to yeah, man. See you, Jimmy. Here he goes. In his tank. Stop right here. I have a special surprise for all of you. Nolan, what does this look like? So they continue without any of the tools for my offer. But go figure, for the next few days, they weren't able to catch any fish. And even though the money kept coming, they were running out of food and time to catch it quickly. I am on the last belt loop. I think that we have maybe two days worth of food left. That's not good. Without a boat, this creek is not productive. We got to go to that river. If I can get to that river and the fishing is good, That'll turn all this around. And with their rations running dangerously low, their only hope at getting food was to travel through the swamp to the river on the other side in hopes of catching some fish. It's risky wasting all these calories, but I have to do it if we're gonna make it any further. But after a grueling hike, Hayes finally found what he was looking for. Oh my God, woo, look at that, it's the river. Is that not the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen? Woo, hoo hoo. Finding this river is probably the difference between us making our goal and us tapping out early. Fortunately, he had a secret weapon. Grizz and I made our own fishing pole, and this is gonna make catching fish easy. With Hayes' makeshift fishing pole immediately breaking, he was going to have to use his hands, and he spent hours trying and failing. Oh no! And if he couldn't catch any fish without immediately dropping them, the calories burned coming here would have been for nothing. But just when he was ready to give up, this one's gonna be it. Ah, uh, yeah! Holy moly! Yes, I told you it was that one! Uh -huh. And the luck didn't stop there. I cannot wait to bring this back to Grizz. He's gonna be so stoked. We're eating tonight. All right, that's awesome. It feels like this is our first real food in ages. But in the meantime, I was preparing an offer that I know they couldn't refuse. It's day 40, they've made over a third of a million dollars, and I have an incredibly special offer for them. For $10,000, and I think you're really gonna like this, you both can see your wives. In fact, they're watching right now. Oh my God, oh my God. are you serious? Oh man. I can't let down my kid. I know, I can't let down my wife. Okay, Jimmy. <laughs> Oh my God. I smell so bad. Well, Hi, Talia. As nice as it was to see their families, the visit was also bittersweet because there's one big question on everyone's mind. How long do you want us to stay? I want you home now. <laughs> like, I do. I know you want me home, but do you need me home? Yes, she needs you. Yes, you need to bond with your son. I don't care what the other guy says. You've made enough money. I need you home. Oh, shit. Shit, I'm out of here. The conversation was so I'll be like, Yo, difficult. I gotta run for me. Me. Even so, I mean, yesterday hey, was a really baby, good day. I mean, it had all of the things I mean, that I was with the wife, my family, my wife, wife work, kids, but, buddy Grizz. That was like a really I mean, baby huge wise. gift. Oh, they're mm -hmm. gone now. 
It's fine. Um, I'm not going to remember anything. To hold her and I mean, know that she was safe maybe they were. It really they has changed like, young, the way that I'm viewing like, this entire yeah, challenge. Yeah, Knowing I have my wife's support, I want to stay yeah, until I have a million dollars. And after some much needed family time, Hayes and Grizz were much happier than I'd ever seen. Yeah, I don't want to have kids on me. Hayes and Grizz. 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 Ambush! <laughs> Let's smoke some fish. Look at that. This is perfect. Even when something happened that would have totally drained them before. Oh! 400,000. By now, they didn't even seem to mind. Yeah! It looks like someone had a gender reveal, and the gender was just money. <laughs> even though their spirits were high, there was still a problem they needed to solve. In order to get to the river to fish, they would first need to trudge through this giant swamp. But if they had a boat, they would easily be able to float down the creek to the river. I am building a boat. The idea is to create a frame with sticks and then attach our tarp so the whole thing can float. Not feeling super confident in the boat build. If we can get down the fish without having to tromp through a whole swamp, it's worth the risk. It's time for the first sea trial of my beautiful ship. Here it goes. Chris! Da -da 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 -da. And this is pretty ironic, considering the offer I was about to bring them. It's day 50. Let's see how they're doing. Hey. Uh, bro, you guys have a village now. Wait, are you serious? You built a boat? Yeah, man. You're telling me this thing can actually float. You want to try it? Uh, yeah, I don't. I, oh, my gosh. It actually works. He built a freaking boat in the woods. All right, now that I'm aware of that, this changes a lot of things. It's actually insane that you two built a boat yesterday because I brought the two of you a boat with the Zaxby's restaurant on Oh my gosh, that's so cool. What you Before you present the offer, I want to make sure you're in a really good state of mind. This is our brand new Mr. Beast box, which are now live at every single Zaxby's across America. Oh. oh my God, that is so good. The Mr. Beast box comes with the best tasting chicken known to man. Yeah. And the cool part is every single meal comes with a Feastables bar. Our goal with this collab was to take the world's best chicken and pair it with the world's best chocolate. Indeed. Zaxby's also has 12 sauces. There's like so many flavors happening okay, in my right, mouth. Exactly. What is that? That's really good. It's a Zaxx sauce. Look how happy yeah, they yeah. are. If you want to be happy like them, just go to Zaxby's and get the yeah, Mr. Beast box right now. Now that you okay, guys have gotten your meals, there. your day 50 offer is for 50 grand. You can have this boat. We don't have a motor. We don't have any way to get this thing around. So you just use sticks. Oh, Lord, I don't know. Since you weirdly built the boat the day before, I'll give you a discount. We'll make it $40,000. My answer is yeah. I love the ship I made. I trust it with my life. So yeah. I'm going to leave it up to Grant. For $40,000, I'm going to pass on the boat. Yes! I'll get in Hayes' death trap instead. If that sinks and you have to quit, I try. We appreciate the food. That was lovely. Bye, Jimmy. I'll see you next time. So this ship saved us $40,000. Still a death trap. Hey, 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 hey. Man, when we first started this thing, it was in the dead of winter. Do you remember how cold it was? Yeah, yeah, now everything is so nice and warm. And spring was now in full bloom, and they were looking pretty comfortable. There's a lot of flowers here. I can't say that I mind it. What is today, 51? I don't know. I lost track. I hear an airplane coming in. Where? Oh, he's coming straight at us. This briefcase puts us at $440,000. Time to build the Hayes and Grizzle love seat. 80% of what we're sitting on here is going straight to my business. This case. No, I don't want Katie to work 24 hour shifts anymore. This money's going to do so much for her and our family. But while the warmer weather was nice, it presented new problems like snakes. Don't want to get bit by that. And rats. Get out of here. Every ah, night. Oh my God. And it wasn't long until the lack of sleep started to make them irritable. Ah, uh, looks like Hayes is struggling to get over here. Hayes, do you need my help? What does it look like? You want to paddle up river into the wind? Hayes, why don't you go get those uh, fishing lines fixed? You know what? You shut your mouth when you're talking to me. He is angry. Can you check those lines while you're over there? What do you think I'm doing? Oh, I was just asking. Thank you for telling me to do what I'm already doing once again. Very angry. Yeah, Keep in mind, at this point, the Hayes and Grizz were very yeah. close friends. But Hayes had reached the end of his rope, and the jokes just weren't hitting the same anymore. <sighs> Grizz's idea about how this would unwind is not working, obviously, because it's a stupid idea. Hayes, I'm sorry, buddy. I did not know I was actually pissing you off. I thought that I did not know that you were actually upset. It's all right. Okay. 
And so, feeling frustrated, Hayes turned off his camera and paddled down river, where he set up his camp until the next day. Hayes has uh, set sail. And I think he may have run away. I'll certainly be thinking about him. I know it's supposed to be cold at night. He's not back in a couple days, so I'm gonna have to go looking for him. Let's do something to cheer him up. So we got a huge board over here that was left by Jimmy at the last <laughs> beast drop, and I'm gonna repurpose it into a table with some of our cases. This is it's actually pretty sturdy. And when Hayes returned home, he was not empty-handed. Sounds like Hayes has returned from his great adventure. Nice! Oh, those are sea trout! I'm pretty wiped out. Mind if I take a minute? No, man, do your thing. Chris! Yeah, buddy. What's this? It's our table. We have a table? Yeah. Oh man! Yeah, I figured that perked him up a little bit. This is a hundred thousand dollar table, Grizz! Welcome back, buddy. Yeah. Feels good to be home. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> With their survival needs met and their friendship restored, what questions still remain? How long will they stay? We gotta have a serious Here's conversation. Funny, bro. Yeah. The end. Hmm. Honestly, I'd have been done five days ago. Maybe push like an extra week. I mean, hell, that's a thirty-five thousand dollars each. If I pulled that flare on day 70, how would you feel? I would feel uh, uh, really let down and lied to. I propose at day 70, we have a conversation, decide if we're gonna push further. That's fair. I promised Grizz that I would stay longer for him, but I'm not happy about it. Okay. Morning, guys. So, Hayes has been a little upset. I'm seeing it. He's keeping to himself, you know, so I'm a little worried about him. Spoken to Grizz about it. He wants me to stay longer. He's kind of pushing me to stay longer and stay longer. At some point, I gotta stop being wilderness guy and go be dad. Another day. Yeah. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I knew that was gonna happen. I saw it. Oh, no. Hey, is going to check out the case that is dropped from the sky. Hey, Day 70. I'm gonna see if Grizz is good being done today. We'll see what he says. What are we gonna do with all this money? Kinda wanna talk to you about that. Kinda ready to hit the flare. <laughs> what do you think about that? I don't wanna stay longer. I know that, that you've gotta pull away from this thing with family. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. We've talked about it a thousand times. I just wanna know how you feel about it today. Yes or no? Can you go one more day? Give yourself 24 hours just to kind of feel I, it I out. I thought a lot about it, but you want to go another day, let's go another day. One more day. How's it going, boys? How are you, buddy? Good. Let's go on a little walkie walk. We can go over here. Let's say Hayes isn't a part of the equation. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many more days do you think you could survive out here? Let's call it 45 days would okay. probably be as far as I'd go. How many do you think he has left in the tank? He yeah, talks yeah. about it every day. How often do you think about shooting the flare? Every day. What's up? <laughs> At this stage, Grizz, you know, he wants to make a million dollars, and it's hard to say no to that. I have an obligation to him, too, but it's starting to go towards family. Yeah. yeah. When you do shoot that flare, that's gonna be crazy. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Just okay last night? Uh huh. I don't want to disappoint Grizz, but. Hold on. I think I'm done. Today's the day? Thought it would be cool to to come back here to our first camp where I was shoulder to shoulder with Grizz every single night. And after that, it was like, all right, dude, we're brothers now. I expected to walk away with a lot of money, but I didn't expect to walk away with like a friend for life. And that's so meaningful to me. I kind of got to think about what's right for me and my family. Gotta do what's best for you, man. Hayes got so desperate that he literally went into Grizz's bag and stole the flare gun, even though it was his idea to separate it into two parts. At this point, all I have to do is shoot this thing, and I get to be a dad again, you know? I know this thing is, is very challenging. What we're doing out here is not easy. I really, truly do believe that you're doing what's right for your family. I disagree. You're providing for them in a way that's no, going to change their lives. Now, it's gone the other way. Now it's, I think I need, I need to be there. I think that you've been really upset. Get the seven, honey. Get the seven, honey. Get the seven, honey, and call like, it. At this point, they gotta make it like a seven, honey. Really, the only thing that's keeping me here is you, and I'm sick of it. Yeah. 
my family needs me too, you know. And you're very good at, you know, manipulating me. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know, this is good for his family. They could find a good it was right clear now. that in this moment, Grizz was like, going to have to make day, a decision. Right? Convince Hayes to continue surviving in these woods for more and more money, or be there for his friend when he needed him the most. I can't imagine having gone through this experience with with anyone else. I mean, I really do like, I genuinely think you'd be like a brother, you know? I'm sorry that I've just pushed you on and on and on. I just don't want to let you down. You're not letting me down. Yeah, I am. Brothers don't let each other down. This is the way it is. Everything, <laughs> everything's got to come to an end sometime. Let me see that player. You gonna shoot I owe you this, Damn. and to be honest with you, I'm sorry that it's taken so long. That's crazy. I think it's time for us to do this, then, buddy. I bet something just came down. Damn. I love you. Okay. W man, W front. Shot it you smell bad. <laughs> I think they shot the player. No, you take that one. Let's go check in on him. Rich, rich. I mean, that, that was oh, my God. We dropped player. him off. This is what they oh, looked okay. like. And yeah. here's them 74 days later. Crazy. Oh, yes, they look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you have. Oh, damn, 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 damn. <laughs> After 74 days, Jeez. they've won $670,000. In case you forgot, we're giving away.